Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Native American water jug. I take two fingers from the top in the center and I put a dot. From the dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down. On the left, go back to the dot, curve line down. On the right, I go back to the left. I draw a straight diagonal line down on the left. Come on the right, straight diagonal line down on the right. Come back to the left, draw a big curve line down, stop, come up to the right, draw a big curve line down, and connect. Starting on the left, we're going to draw another curve line up, over, connect. We come up to the top on the left and I'm going to draw a curve line up, connect on the left, come on the right, curve line up, connect on the right. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Right next to it, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come on the right hand side. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Once more, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. At the end, I'm going to put one, two, three, four straight lines. Now, I'm going to draw an overlap. I start on the left and I draw a curve line up, jump over, curve line up, jump over, big curve line over and down, jump over, curve line, jump over, curve line. I come right here in the center and I'm going to draw a little straight line. Come back to the left, draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. Now I'm going to do like stair steps. I go straight line out, straight line down, straight line out, straight line down. That's on the right. Same thing on the left. Straight line out, straight line down, straight line out, straight line down. Come back to the right, draw a big straight line, straight line, straight line in. Come on the left, big straight line out, straight line down, straight line in. Now I do my stair steps coming in. Straight line down, straight line in, straight line down on the left. Straight line down, straight line in, straight line down on the right. Come back to the left, little straight line in, big straight line down. On the right, little straight line in, big straight line down, straight line connect. Right in the center, I'm going to draw a circle. Starting on the left, I draw a big curve line up, over, connect. I'm going to mimic that line, draw it again, big curve line up, over, connect. Inside the space, I draw slightly curved lines all the way across. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first part I'm going to color are these spaces on the left and on the right. These are the spouts for the liquid to come in and out of, and this is the handle. I come down and I color my baby circle in here, and I start coloring my pattern down here at the bottom. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Now I found a variation of different colors of browns. So if you just have one brown, you can use it dark or light. This is mahogany, but if you don't have mahogany, you can use browns, you can use oranges, you can use reds. And I did this section mahogany brown. Then I came back in with my dark brown and did these decorative elements right here. I used dark brown on my rope down here, rope design. 
and on the very, very bottom of my pot. And then I came in with a lighter beige, tan, brown, and did the body. This is called the body of the water jug. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my Native American water jug pottery piece, all colored in, and uh, they're really beautiful. Okay, bye-bye.